Hi, my name is Olufemi Onai Raju, and I want to introduce to you the Smart Plant Pro. So in coming to this project, we had to decide between three designs. So the first design was a system, a flood detecting system for the house. So, and then the second one was this, and then the third one was a thermostat for automobile. We all know what the thermostat is, it regulates temperature in the car. So that was the third project. So how we decided to pick this, we used the, we had to brainstorm, and then we used the pairwise matrix. And the pairwise matrix, you're gonna see it in the PowerPoint slide, and then we designed the pairwise matrix, we put the relevant attributes of the project, of our proposed project, and that attribute made us to um, itemize, you rank them in order of importance, and then we came up with this project. So what is this project? This project is a smart plan for so we could see this is the LCD and we have the, we use an Arduino kit. And even to decide what kit to use, we have to decide. So we have to choose between different programming languages, which is Java, C++, and Python. That is also in the in the report and in the PowerPoint slide. You're gonna see the pairwise matrix. We ended up using the Arduino, which is a C++. Hi, I'm gonna explain how it works. So first of all, this is the moisture uh, sensor. So we we are gonna put it in the soil, so it can uh, moisture. Uh, we can know the moisture level. So when the moisture level goes low, the water pump will automatically work, and you will just fill. Uh, you will just water the flowers, and uh, this is the uh, water level sensor. So when the water level goes low. This LCD light will turn red, so it so we can know that we need to uh, fill the water in the water tank. And they, as as we can see in the screen, uh, this is all the um, data that uh, in data that we measured for our sensor. Yeah. Hi. So I'm gonna explain the rest of the functionality of the smart uh, plant pot. So if you could see here. Um, over here we have the DHT, it's a humidity and temperature sensor. So what this does, it just takes uh, analog reading, feeds it into the Arduino here, and then as you can see, we're recording the values for temperature and humidity. And if you see here in the bottom right corner, we're also displaying all this information on the LCD screen. So you'll see it scrolling through as it does the different checks in the loop. Um, so aside from the humidity and temperature sensor, you can see that up here we have two photocells and you just saw the function of the or the reason behind the photocells. So basically the photocells are measuring the light that's distributed on either side of the pot. So if one side of the pot has more concentrated light, then the pot will actually record um, how much, how long it's been exposed to that light and if necessary it'll shift the pot with the servo that's mounted in the bottom of the base um, and the purpose of this is to give equal distribution of light to both sides of the pot you can see it's like a demo mode here so it's just switching pretty quickly but in a real life application it would probably take a few hours before it would switch or something like that it would just calculate the time to give even distribution and finally yeah so you could see the lcd which i previously mentioned before that's just um showing all our data and some you know messages for the for the user and yeah that pretty much concludes the functionality of the smart plan pop due to the lack of tools that are currently found on the market to help benefit ag agriculture today we decided to create a smart plant pot that um, measures all the parameters that are vital to the success of a plant. Um, so guaranteeing that the plant pot was unambiguous, user-friendly, aesthetically pleasing and reliable was the main aim for this project. To decide on which language we were gonna use for this project, we used a selection matrix which highlighted um, which language was gonna be most useful for us to use and it'd be easier and less time consuming, just things like that. Um, so essentially we created a smart plant pot that um, measures, regulates the conditions and um, gives the user insightful information on the current conditions of the plant.